this is uh, an old custom, old Bengali custom, which basically is in you know before you start making the uh, idol of Durga, uh, you have to take soil from uh, the brothel area, and um, this is something that that is done customarily, and also initially because Kumatoli, which is where the idol used to be built, and the Ganga Mati, which is you know uh, soil from the Ganges, uh, with which it was built, uh, shared a kind of uh, geographical contiguity with okay. Shonagachi, which is the okay. one of the oldest uh, uh, brothel areas in North Calcutta, and they're very contiguous. They're they're close to each other. So if you go to Shonagachi, you know, going to Kumatuli is just you know a little way away. Okay. So they were they were actually sort of located quite close to each other. The place where the idols were built. So you can go and uh, see it also, okay. um, and where the main brothel area is. So and and you know there there are a lot of Bangla short stories which uses this very interesting kind of uh, idea okay. uh, concept. Um, but I wouldn't say how, that. How this, do they this, use them? In the sense. In the sense that um, you know the fact that such a marginal population should be so central to such an important festivity of Bengalis and we forget the people who are indispensable okay. in a certain sense they begin the festivities uh, but we don't think of them because the the, the conception of Durga is the mother okay. right um, and she's also married to Shiva whatever oh, yeah. so it's it's a very sort of family concept okay. in that sense and festi festivals are family time yeah. so in a certain sense we are celebrating uh, a, a motherhood we are celebrating a certain kind of normative Okay. Uh, femininity through the Durga Puja, okay. but it is actually beginning with something which is so marginal and so, uh, um, and and very few people actually know about this custom. Okay. So it's it's a very very old custom. It's practiced, but very few people know it. And also something which is so organic and something which is so fundamental, like soil, okay. uh, which binds all of us together. Yeah. We are all sort of you know uh, sons and daughters of the soil yeah. in a certain sense. It reminds us of our own mortality and our own. Um, so in a certain sense, even Durga uh, mm -hmm. is dependent on the soil, she is made out of soil. So even divinity is from the soil and soil from the brothel. So, okay. so the, I think it's a very, very uh, interesting idea and conceptually um, it's, it's also something which tells us something about the ways our cultures have developed okay. or uh, also the ways in which the brothel itself has been culturally framed, okay. uh, not as something which is outside of culture or not as something which is uh, necessarily marginal, but as something which, which has always been included in some way or the other uh, mm -hmm. within the ambit of our um, cultural celebrations or uh, yeah. whatever. Uh, so this kind of marginalization that we see now is not necessarily something which is uh, developed through culture, but, okay. but something that we have done. Okay. So in a certain sense. But I'm not sort of glorifying, you know, Hindu traditions in any sense. But I'm just saying that we lose track of many of these traditions, which have, which may have interesting interpretations. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and what we remember are the more normative aspects or the more, uh, you know, things that we celebrate. But we forget these kinds of things are also there. Oh yeah. yeah. So I think I think that is uh, I find that idea quite interesting. Okay. But, uh, yeah. What, uh, uh, and also, if you if you go to the go to Shunagachi during festival time, okay. it's 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 a it's a really interesting experience, and I've been several times because this is also the time when Shunagachi is is the busiest. Okay. Uh, because it's holiday time, a lot of clients go. Okay. Uh, so they're very busy, and um, there's a lot of sort of festivity happening in the area itself. Okay. Uh, so although we don't think of them as also, you know. Uh, fellow citizens who are celebrating Durga Puja, but Durga Puja is celebrated in a very, very big way in Shunagachi. Okay, so, okay. so, you know, again, it tells us something about the city, how we think of our place in the city, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. what the city means to us. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, like four years before, they didn't allow the soil to be taken? I think something happened. Um, I, I'm not sure about this particular incident, but. Uh, Tell me a little more about it. Maybe I'll remember. The thing is, uh, there were uh, there were reports in Outlook. Outlook did right. a cow story on it, right. and in some other people, they say that we 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 don't allow you to take we wouldn't allow you to take soil from our courtyard. That's what. 
Right. That's what they say. Right. I mean, I can. I, I don't particularly uh, know of this incident. Perhaps it happened and got reported, but you know yeah. something didn't reach us necessarily. Uh, but I can imagine why it might have happened, and I can kind of understand. You know that. You know the stance probably is justified from a particular kind of uh-huh. angle because you know. It's what what would that be? Could you please explain? I, again, I'm completely you know speculating yeah, here yeah, because yeah. I don't know the incident. I don't know the person concerned or you know, people yeah, it, concerned. It happened under Durbar. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think it was a stance that Durbar had taken as an organization. Okay, okay. okay. I, I think it was something that some okay. of the members did. Uh, but I think it, there is a certain amount of resentment and understandably so among the uh, sex workers who, who always feel that, uh, you know, the society depends on them but doesn't recognize them. Yeah, yeah. So it's very convenient to take soil from there but not to acknowledge them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think this was a form of protest and it's, it's, I think it's a sort of very, very valid uh, yeah. uh, protest. Uh, but I really don't know, you know, the ramifications of it so I won't be able to. Okay, okay.